Hello YouTube, welcome back. Uh, so we just uh, listened to a really strange. Stanley oh. decided to go to the meeting room to check on his co-workers. He never functioned well by himself. I found the boxes. And constantly needed support and guidance from others. So the thought of total solitude was terrifying to him. Um, actually, the narrator told us one time when we left the office that uh, Stanley was happy that he was finally alone. So which one is it? So I, I found those boxes that uh, she said were being delivered. <laughs> Not sure this is the most efficient way to store things, but... Oh, they're everywhere. Oh, I really hope one of our input computers isn't in this area. <laughs> It takes a lot of humility to carry a bucket so magnificent. Stanley checked his ego and then proceeded onward. Alright, uh, what places have we not taken the bucket yet? We haven't taken it down that elevator shaft towards the adventure line. Uh, the confusion ending, I think is what it's called. Have we taken it all the way across the cargo elevator in the warehouse? Because I know... We've taken it to where the red and blue door should be, but the narrator said no buckets past this point, so we had to do that game show, and I don't think we were actually able to go through the red and blue doors. But I don't think we've taken it all the way to the end of that elevator Stanley to the phone the either. Tightly to his this was and the phone has two the different options room, as well. Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him. Telling him you can answer the, the phone, which will take you to be. that apartment ending. But you can also unplug the phone, too. So, like, can you do both of those things with the bucket? There's just so many options. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was no. Never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left. To All right, we'll do this first. Room. And so the two There's just so many different options, which is, like, kind of, like, the whole point of the Stanley parable. But, like, I'm overwhelmed with all the possibilities. I want to see them all. Stanley, I'm glad you found your way here. I knew um, you'd find oh. this place eventually. What? <laughs> it's like a culmination of like. You see, your friends and I are concerned for you. Oh Stanley. no! We've come together here because we care about you. Is this an intervention? Much. It's this bucket you're carrying. The broom closet everywhere. is my one of my friends. The bucket isn't even from the original Stanley Parable. It's just the sequel baby? content. We're the ones the that made Stanley mannequin? classic characters from the first game, like the adventure. No, I and totally the broom remember closet. the because that's what fans want there. from a sequel. They want more of their favorite jokes, not this bucket that they've never seen before. Yes, I know I'm the one who gave you the bucket, but you're spending too much time with it. Don't you want another story involving the adventure line? I mean, that's why we, we came make down the here. adventure line go somewhere new. Yes, yes, oh. that's what the fans want. Let's do it. I mean, that's technically why we came down here, but... Oh, the broom closet, actually, you can go inside it. Well, he doesn't have anything to say. I like how uh, it's considered one of our friends from the first game. We got the baby. I don't think... Uh... I don't think the baby would actually consider us a friend after the amount of times we burned it, but okay. I'm very curious about the pencil sharpener, because I don't remember there being anything of significance with a pencil sharpener, but... Let's see where the new adventure line goes. Whee! Look at that wacky line. Who Trademark. knows where it'll go off to next? Oh, and it played some silly music as well. Mm-hmm. Yep, there it is. Classic. Da, 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 da. Now this oh, is on. what the Stanley Parable is all about. Don't you remember all those great jokes from the original oh, dialogue? The, the placeholder oh, the textures. Addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> that was one it's of my favorite lines. Now as it was back then. <laughs> Let's do it for the fans, Stanley. Let's give them more content exactly like this. But if we want to do that, you're going to have to oh, give no, something. No, no, don't give it. Don't take my bucket. Don't take my bucket. I know what you're thinking, Mr. Narrator, and I don't like it. Oh, this is creepy. Don't you get it, Stanley? We need to get rid of no. the bucket. That's why I'm very proud to introduce a brand new character. This is the Bucket Destroyer. Uh, 
The I think it'll make a wonderful new addition to the rich lore of the Stanley Oh Pearl. my! True, it also was not in the original game, but it's such a well, well fleshed out wasn't, character so... with so much personality <laughs> that, that to me it already feels as though it's been part of the cast all along. Don't you agree? Okay, but I want to know the bucket destroyer's Can you backstory. Guess what the bucket destroyer Why should we carry it? Surely you don't need me to destroyer. spell it out for you. Go ahead now, Stanley. No. Oh. Say goodbye to the bucket. Nope. And then pop it into the machine when you're ready. This is very familiar to GLaDOS trying to get us to toss the companion cube into the fire, and I refuse. Now listen to me. It's crucial that you give it the bucket. Nope. I don't know what the bucket destroyer will do if it can't destroy your bucket. Destroying oh, no. buckets is all it knows. That is its singular personality trait. Sure, I can hear you say, oh. how does a character with only one personality is this gonna be a trait boss deserve fight? to join the pantheon the of first Stanley Parable, Parable characters? Fight? Well, you see, if you were to really explore the Bucket Destroyer, you would see that its desire to crush buckets off? is so densely oh, loaded with complexity button. and nuance that it's really like ten personality traits. What other object in this game can you even say that about? The broom closet? Certainly not. I wonder <laughs> what sort of Bucket Destroyer merchandise the fans will be <laughs> coming for after this. Okay, the bucket destroyer is getting very upset now. I don't understand because feed it. we can't get back to the classic Stanley when, Parable when we, uh... like the adventure line or the bucket destroyer until you crush that damn bucket. Quickly now, the fans are waiting. Do it, the fans, Stanley. Give the fans what they want. Hurry up. Oh no. I don't understand because when we put the bucket into the escape pod, the narrator gave us a replacement and told us not to lose it. So why in the world is he so insistent that we destroy this bucket, bucket now? Bucket destroyer. <laughs> my prized creation. You had so much potential. We were going to do such marvelous things with you, tell such spell-binding stories about you. All of it squandered now. Goodbye, new friend. For the moment in time that you were here, you were <laughs> magnificent. I feel like we just lost a family member. He was like one of the most important characters in the game. Okay, if it loops back, I might just beeline it right back there. Yeah, I want to see what happens if we actually put the bucket in there. Oh, Wait, the boxes Danny are gone. thought to himself, am I sure that the orders stopped coming in? How is that possible? They never stopped. Surely I was mistaken. Well, no, well, they definitely no, stopped. the orders were still missing. For now. I'm like second guessing everything now, like every pencil sharpener I come across. I'm kind of like curious. Are they important? Why? Why was he? Why was it? Why was the pencil sharpener at the um, the intervention? I don't remember him being a classic character from the first game. All right, let's see what happens if we actually destroy the bucket. Cradled the bucket in a gentle embrace, protective yet delicate, assertive yet compassionate. Because that's what fans want from a sequel. Oh. They want more of their favorite jokes, not this oh, can I get bucket stuck? that they've never seen before. Oh, I think yes, I'm actually I know stuck. I'm the one who gave you the bucket, but you're spending too much time with it. Don't you want another story involving the adventure line? Where's my uh, ending for this one? We could make the adventure line go somewhere hmm? new. Yes, yes, that's what the fans want. Let's do it. Mr. Narrator, because when we fell to the bottom of the pit, you said that it was a bug that... um never got caught but what about this i am completely stuck behind this chair where's my special ending for this now stanley parable mega ultra super deluxe better have a, a special ending for this because i'd actually like real talk i don't think i can get out of here i'm pretty sure i'm legitimately stuck i might have to actually reset the game ha <laughs> I've been trying to get myself stuck this whole time, like, uh, the other day in the, um, in the, the break room, I was trying to get stuck, Stanley knew the office but I wasn't like expecting to actually hand. find a spot It was only a matter of time before he found the others. Let's do it for the fans, Stanley. Let's give them more content. All right, what's going like to happen this? when we actually but destroy this bucket? But if we want bucket? to do that, you're going to have to give something up. Don't you get it, Stanley? We need to get rid of the bucket. That's why I'm very proud to introduce a brand new character. This is the Bucket Destroyer. 
I think it'll make a wonderful new addition to the rich lore of the Stanley Parable. The rich True, it lore. also was not in the original game, but it's such a well fleshed out character with so much personality that to me it already feels as though it's been part of the cast all along. Don't you agree? All right. Can you guess what the bucket destroyer does? Destroy sure, buckets. you don't need me to spell it out for you. All right, let's see what Go happens. Go ahead now, Stanley. Say goodbye to the bucket. And then pop it into the machine when you're ready. Goodbye, bucket. You've been there. Well, actually, this isn't even our normal bucket. It's a replacement bucket. Now listen to me. It's crucial that you give it the oh, bucket. Oh, can I not? Actually, I don't know what the bucket destroyer will do if it can't destroy your bucket. He's Destroying like buckets is holding it. Knows. He won't let. That I can't. It's singular personality trait. Sure, I can hear you saying, "How does a character with only one?" I'm trying. I actually am trying to, to put join it in the there. pantheon of beloved Stanley Parable characters. Stanley refuses well, you see, to. If you were to really explore the bucket destroyer, you would see that its desire to crush buckets is so dense. I don't think I actually could do it. and nuance that it's really like ten personalities. All right, so I think it's just going to play out the same. It doesn't look like it can actually destroy the bucket. Thank you for the follow. I get wet for Phantom T Mac. Sam, I think I'm more just impressed that you still have that account. Like, I thought that it was a like a one off thing, but the fact that you still have the the login for that, uh, I do appreciate it though. Traits. What other object in this game can you even say that about? The broom closet? Certainly not. I wonder what sort of bucket destroyer merchandise the fans will be clamoring for after this. Okay, the bucket destroyer is getting yeah, very upset now. You'll same. have to hurry and feed it. We can't get back to the classic Stanley Parable characters like the Adventure Line or the Bucket Destroyer until you crush that damn bucket. Alright, we're gonna begin the game again because it doesn't look like that's actually an option. So I thought maybe there'd be like a separate thing if you actually destroy the bucket, but it doesn't look like you can because Stanley is very apprehensive. All of his co-workers were gone. So what let's take Stanley the decided bucket to, go to the, meeting to room. the other Stanley side without the bucket, of the lift. Really Stanley at all? No, no not at no, all. Surely not. What is this? Hello? Where's our uh, normal two doors? What is... What is going on right now? Where are we? Also, that four is cut off. And these numbers are crooked, right? Am I losing my mind right now? This is not part of the office. What is going on with the numbering on the doors? Okay, none of this... Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to We're just not going to acknowledge that? The door on his left. Like, that wasn't a thing, right? <laughs> We're just gonna pretend that wasn't a thing, Mr. Narrator. This was not the correct way okay. to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. All right, we're had going to, out to be correct, bring the bucket no, to the telephone mind, and see if both wrong. options to Stanley answer it and left to unplug it the are room. still there. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. Okay, yeah, I definitely don't think we've done this yet. In here, said the bucket. Go into this dark room over here. Stanley <laughs> once again. It's not very blindly. dark, but okay. This one over here, you mean? Oh, there's the phone. Now pick up the phone, said the bucket. Pick up the phone, and it will take us back home, where we can go about life together. Okay, so is this going to take us to the apartment then? Is the mannequin even going to be there anymore? Is there going to be a dispute between the mannequin and the bucket over uh, who loves Stanley more? This is the sad story of a man sad named Stanley story. and his bucket. Once upon a time, I gave Stanley a bucket because I thought he was lonely and could use a friend. 
And then, very distressingly, <laughs> he began to believe the bucket could speak to him. Oh, the bucket's gone. This apartment's a lot nicer than the, the fake one that we had with the original phone. Press X to take me to work with you. Alright, so are things around the apartment going to get replaced with office supplies? Oh! The Stanley Parable reassurance bucket was merely meant to provide the comforting nope, the whole glow office of is just going to replace the apartment. It doesn't literally talk and give you orders. Whatever Stanley is hearing the bucket say to him is just in his head. They, uh, they made it that the chair doesn't have any sort of collision so we can't go out the window. Do we have to go to our office? The bucket's waiting for us here. Take the bucket back home. Lately, I've been concerned about him. Wouldn't you be concerned as well? To see him delusional like this, obsessing over an inanimate metal object? I want to say something to him, but I don't know how I can convince him. I don't know if he'll listen to me. I love how the narrator is so just done with this bucket in all these endings when he's the one who hyped it up in the first place and gave it to us. To go back to work. This, uh, this is feeling like real life with the work-home anyway. cycle. Stanley, can you hear me? Listen to me. It's just a bucket. It can't think. It can't talk. All it will ever truly do for you is effectively transfer a liquid from one location to a different location. That's it. It doesn't do anything else. Don't listen to the loud man. Press you for us to go back home. Okay, so the bucket's talking to us through these messages. <sighs> you see, he's not listening. He's still taking orders from the bucket. You know, once upon a time, it was me he took orders from. Me he trusted and listened to. Now all he cares about is his <laughs> awful bucket. This stupid hunk of metal. You know, this, this apartment's kind of nice. Like, Stanley definitely upgraded. I would totally live here. Although, it still has the same rusty sink. Not sure how I will feel about that. Press H to ignore anyone in your life except for me. It's sad. I suppose he doesn't need me anymore. From now on, he's just going to cling to this bucket. This cold, empty bucket. This sort of shiny bucket. Hmm. Well, I'll give it this. The bucket does have a nice shine to it. I've never actually... Have we ever- I don't think we've ever seen the, the office building, like, at nighttime like this. There's, like, something strangely comforting about it. Oh, he's on top of the computer now. You believe I'm real, don't you, Stanley? Press M to go back home. Yes, I suppose on closer inspection that it doesn't quite look like your average hardware store bucket. It's just a little more, um, what am I trying to say? Sturdier. More capable of transporting liquid. Like it would be better at moving an amount of water from one room to another. What TV's on? Press M to relive this same day with me over and over again. This is like some Groundhog Day stuff. Oh my god, what am I saying? Better at carrying water from room to room. It's a bucket. It's literally just a <laughs> bucket. Why do I feel some need to point out the ways in which it's so much more than just a regular bucket? Press K to go home to work to home to work to home. Oh gosh. Oh no. I'm I'm having feelings. For the bucket. Oh no 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 this no, door's no, open. no no. What's bedroom. going on? Why do I want to be with the bucket? No, Here, this is what the like bucket really has weird to say. Do anything it asks. What's wrong with me? I don't understand. Perhaps, perhaps, if I had the bucket, this would be less confusing. Yes. The bucket could tell me what to do in this troublesome situation. This is very strangely intimate. Um, I hope that, you know, things that uh, can't be shown on stream don't happen, because uh, <laughs> that's where this, uh, the direction is going. Stanley, give me the bucket. Give it to me. Give me the bucket, Stanley. Nope. I need it. Give it to me now. Give it Close or your I'll... eyes.
Go back to work, Stanley. Did the narrator and the bucket just fight each other? Is that why I had to close my eyes? Because we already know that the bucket is all powerful. So did he, did he, uh, did he destroy the narrator? Did the game actually re-loop? Oh, the phone's ringing again. Narrator's not talking to us. Good morning. Thank you for contacting the Future Happiness Foundation. We are confirming your shipment of 1,327 cardboard boxes to your place of work. Can you verify that this is correct? Okay, what happens if we don't verify it? Like if I just don't press anything? Understood. Your order will be canceled oh, immediately. Okay, good. <laughs> Thank you again for contacting the Future Happiness Foundation. <laughs> okay, no 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 boxes flooding the office this time. No, he's actually not saying anything. Like I'm I'm genuinely concerned that the bucket might have a uh, killed the narrator. <laughs> Has Stanley oh, lifted his bucket, okay, he found a connection to all buckets everywhere. <laughs> this adventure, he decided, was for all of them. Let's go back to that phone and see if we can unplug it now with the bucket. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the... No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. I'm trying to think of all the Stanley different... Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting. Things we can do that with the bucket that we haven't done yet. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the We've meeting gone in the room. Vent. Go somewhere else. The cargo We've lift, yes. Go good, Gone said towards the, the blue and red doors. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. We've There's something up there I need you to do. And answered the Stanley phone. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed we, I don't him, of course, because buckets can't talk. Fall but Stanley chose not to think the about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. I don't think we've fallen down to the warehouse floor with the bucket. And I'm pretty sure, isn't there an ending for stepping on the cargo lift and then stepping here, right off of said it? The bucket. Go into this dark room over here. Stanley once again obeyed blindly. There's like just so many different options. Like when you play the original Stanley Parable, you're like, holy crap, each room has like seven different things you can do. And then you have to add on top of it like, oh, you can do all those things with a bucket now. Now pick up the phone. Oh, 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 hold on. Why did you unplug the phone? Were you trying to resist the bucket's orders? Stanley, I was joking. Uh, clearly after that Obviously, last Obviously, the bucket isn't ending. talking to you and telling you to do things. Buckets can't talk. It was a joke. Don't you get the Didn't joke? Seem it's like funny, a joke Stanley. Last time. A talking bucket. Uh, can't you see? Um, oh, goodness. I must have really bungled up the delivery if you actually took me seriously. Where did I mess up the joke? Should I have paused for longer or spoken quicker? Hmm, comedic timing is so difficult. I wish I were better at it, but there isn't exactly an instructional video on comedy that one can watch to fully. Oh wait, yes, there is. He, um, I it's feel like right here. his it's lines difficult. keep getting cut off early. Like, uh, I noticed that with what the last ending. What is comedic timing? What is comedic timing? How does it work? How long should it last? How can it be used to effectively silence your political enemies? And more importantly, can it be taught in its entirety within 90 seconds? Thankfully, the answer to all of these questions is yes. yes. Let's dive deeper. If you've ever told a joke or made someone laugh, in all likelihood, you did it while standing 50 to 80 centimeters from them in a room of no more than 76 degrees Fahrenheit with one of your arms raised straight upward at a 15 uh, degree angle from your body. Yep. These are the optimal conditions for good comedic timing. I gotta say, I've never made to begin anyone the joke, laugh and Start by under stating those and spelling your name. Next, provide <laughs> a brief synopsis of the joke, including the specific times at which the recipient of the joke will laugh, and then spell out your name a second time. With these steps complete, it's time to begin the humor. Speak the entire joke in no more than 18 seconds and no less than 13 and a half, okay. pausing only for bathroom breaks when <laughs> necessary. 
When the joke has concluded, it is customary to inform your listener that the joke is over by declaring in your loudest possible voice, I'm Dunny with the funny. Let's practice screaming, I'm Dunny with the funny now. I'm Dunny with the funny. I'm Dunny with the funny. Good. This saying is a perfect example of expectations management, which is the cornerstone of good comedy. Finally, he looks it's like time a to hand out character. surveys. Collecting hard data from your audience on how rapt they were Datter? throughout the joke is the only way to grow or learn as a comedian. An effective survey should be no less than 10 pages long and should include the same question reprinted several times. Just to ensure the survey taker is actually paying attention and not simply filling in answers at random. And that's all there is. With these strategies at your disposal, you'll have audiences doubled over in laughter and even tripled over in laughter in no time at all. Just remember to let them stop laughing at some point, you gut-busting little scamp. After all, we're each of us needed on the front oh lines of the gosh. war to fight the 12-legged invader who threaten our very existence and to very likely die in a hailstorm of bullets and What in the world? All of us must be prepared to give our lives to this noble cause. It looks just like as it was our pulled children right must out of us, Sam. And their children after them. Godspeed and may Earth reign supreme. I remember there being like hey, goodness, some sort of video. This video is a little outdated, isn't it? When you well, unplug no the phone with all the I think the fundamentals of proper comedic timing are still as relevant today as they were back then. Oh, no, so with that in mind, no, I no. believe the only way forward is for us to return to the two doors is and he walk gonna... through all of this again, so I can try telling my story is with he gonna more fall appropriate those steps? comedic no. delivery. Come along, let's head back. Is he going to take a bathroom break? Is it going to be longer than 18 seconds? Because it better not be. Yeah, because I remember when we uh, unplugged the phone in the original game that uh, I think it also showed a video, but obviously for something different. What's a video? You're watching one right now. I can feel it. Is this it scary? This time, I'm really uh, going to nail no, the delivery. Stan well, I mean, there are a talking been scary say moments in this game, I guess. How absurd. What a hilarious concept. The king of comedy. That's what you'll call me. Thank goodness we had the instructional video. Yeah, you guys video. Otherwise, know Otherwise, who knows like... where we'd be right now. Well, I wouldn't be the king of comedy, that's for sure. His last, like, the this ending... The bucket spoke to Stanley. Hmm. <clears throat> in the last spoke. ending. The bucket spoke. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'll figure it out on the fly. No need to overthink things. Like some... Oh, we just... Okay. Some of his uh, lines keep getting cut off early. And I don't know why that's happening. Am I scary? Sometimes. I can be scary. Uh, okay. Good. This saying is a perfect example of expectations management, which is the cornerstone of good comedy. And a very likely die in a hailstorm of I like how one mandible. of them just has like a All human, of us must be prepared foot. to give our lives to this noble cause, just as our children must do after us, before. and their children after them. Godspeed, and may Earth reign supreme. Nothing in this game can be explained. Hey, goodness, this video is what is outdated, happening? isn't it? Well, no matter. I think the fundamentals of proper comedic timing are still as relevant today as they were back then. So with that in mind, I believe the only way forward is for us to return to the two doors and walk through all of this again. Is anyone so getting like a really my weird story with more appropriate comedic feeling delivery. of deja vu? Come along, let's head back. Is there something I can like climb on to that's going to uh you know avoid me uh falling through the floor again okay so far so good things are things are going normal now do not lie if you are lying right now stop all right we're just gonna we're gonna keep moving we're gonna pretend that never happened The narrator is being awfully quiet right now, too. Alright, back to the two doors. Here we go. You ready? <clears throat> When Stanley and the bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. Okay, I'm really curious. What if I enter the door on the right? <laughs> like, after we've gone through all of this, what if I just go through the door on the right again? 
Oh, hello? Oh, no. Uh, we're back at the phone already. No, no, no. What's going on? There were supposed to be several rooms leading up to this. There was supposed to be a build-up to this point. A dramatic display of remarkable comedic wit which culminates in this scene with the phone. But now the timing's completely off. The joke will never <laughs> land. Not After watching that meant. whole video, and it's all my fault. Can't even, I must have forgotten can't even put that the phone room comes immediately after the two doors room. Oh, yes, that's how it's always done. mistake. I've made a fool of myself. <laughs> I don't deserve the title of king of comedy. I'm pretty I'm sure no one ever. I'm not even the lowliest title. joke telling. Well, I think. I think I need to go back and rewatch that. No, please, no. Video again. Okay, you can watch it. Don't well, make us watch it again. That will help me improve my. No, 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 no. Here we go. Okay. Are you ready? <clears throat> when standing in the All right, let's, let's go through the door on the left, then. Doors, they <laughs> entered the door on the left. Because it... Wait. No, because if I go through the door on the right again, is it going to do all that again? I will go through the door on the left. No, 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 no. You were supposed to go through the door on the right, leading back to the phone. Did you not even look at the instructional video? I think this is all covered very clearly. Oh, There's no. no way I can make the comedic timing work now. It's done. The joke is completely down and over. It's all your fault, Stanley. I'm going to be ridiculed in the community of other joke writers. I'm going what? to be shamed at every one of our meetings from now on. Well, all because you couldn't watch a simple video and take a hint. Are you proud of yourself for bringing me down, Stanley? Are you proud? Oh, we, we've you seen this before. You're not so much, it's like you... Um, it's as though all of your other most prized possessions pale oh in Oh my gosh. Yes. Well, let me try that again, Stanley. I heard that you are pale with shame over how unabashedly in love with a bucket you are. No? Still not? It, is it the delivery? Pale with shame. Yes, pale we got it, Mr. Narrator. We got pale. it. Created with Unity. What okay, so they they did Stanley, switch it from the source. And... I think I saw it playing guitar. Oh my gosh! No puns, please. That's where I draw the line. I just I'm no good at these jokes. I need more instructional videos. That's exactly what it is. That's what will make me the king of comedy again. More instructional. No, no videos. more, no more videos. No more puns. Are we back? H have we escaped? Have we escaped the narrator's puns and instructional videos and all that fun stuff? Alright, we are well past a half hour, so for the people watching on YouTube, I'm going to end this recording here. And when we come back, we're going to tie up any endings that I can think of the involving the bucket and retracing our steps and then um after this stream ends if there are still any loose ends I'll, um next time we stream i'll probably end up looking up to see the steps to get the other endings so we will continue here in a second